In John 15, Jesus said to his disciples, when the advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me and you also will testify because you have been with me from the beginning. A while back, Estelle and I attended a church service for a Holy Spirit revival meeting where crazy things were happening. People were rolling around on the floor and laughing like hyenas or jumping around and falling over and just acting like maniacs in general. And this stuff was relatively amusing to watch, but I'd seen this kind of thing before. But something that struck me was when it came time for the offering, the preacher stood up and said, everyone's going to pray and there'll be two numbers that will come into their mind. The small number would be from the devil and the large number would be from the Holy Spirit. Now, who are you gonna listen to? Now, these types of things are legendary, but even just last week, I saw something that made me think about other ways that so-called Christians blame the Holy Spirit for their own ideas. At the United Methodist Church's General Conference, the decision was made to abandon biblical teaching surrounding human sexuality and marriage. Now, they'd been moving in this direction for years, but after it finally passed, people were dancing and celebrating as to be expected. But the thing that struck me was that they were singing a song that said, I'm gonna move when the Spirit says move. Now I've heard people say that this movement away from the historic teaching of biblical Christianity, both Protestant and Catholic, is a movement of the Holy Spirit. But according to Jesus, the role of the Holy Spirit is to advocate and help the followers of Jesus fulfill his mission. And the principal way this happens is by continually drawing the church to Jesus. Jesus is the truth. And this is why the Holy Spirit is called the Spirit of Truth. Friends, the Holy Spirit will never lead the church into anything that contradicts what Jesus has said. So when you see people who do outlandish, crazy things in the name of the Holy Spirit or who blame the Holy Spirit for their crazy behavior, don't buy it. And when you see people departing from the teaching of Jesus in order to create their own religion that suits their preferences, remember, if it doesn't line up with Jesus, who is truth, then it doesn't come from the spirit of truth.